And thank you. I'm talking with Jeff Stover. He trains a couple of pacers on today's card. We're looking ahead first to today's fifth race where he has Adam Quinton from the rail. And Jeff, to be honest, as a horse player, I'd have to voice a lot of concerns about putting $2 on Adam Quinton because he hasn't raced since mid-July. Yeah, he's a type of horse. Um, he may be all right today, but he's had some problems. He got it turned out in a paddock out here and had some hornets sting him. So he's had about 60 days off and actually about the last 30 he's been training real hard. So he may be all right. It's a fair, so I thought I could get him qualified, get him racing and see what happens from there. Well, we've heard the usual things, injuries or they've been scratched sick or they're lame, but a hornet sting is something new. Uh, how did he react? What happened? Um, it, he had an allergic reaction to it and it swelled up all over his body. He had his head swell and his neck and then it went down to his chest and then finally we got it out his feet. Um, that's the first time I've ever had that happen with myself and first time I've ever seen it happen, so it was an experience for me. Actually, it sounds pretty dangerous, especially since uh, their feet are such a concern. You have to have a sound foot for a sound horse. Anything special you had to do? Uh, basically the poultice. I mean, I'm a big believer in poultice and I use a lot of it. I probably keep the uh, poultice companies in business by buying as much as I do. All right. Well, he's back in business today. And how do you feel his overall health is? Um, he's going to be a little sluggish, like you say, because he hadn't raced for 60 days. But I think he has contention to be competitive in this field. All right, despite the time off, that's his words on that one. We're going to go ahead to today's 15th race, which happens to be our, fin I believe, one of our last races, perhaps the last race on the card, and talk about Gerald's Falcon. Now, this one is the morning line choice. Bring us up to date on this one. Uh, this cold, I took it easy on him the other night. He just had raced uh, three nights ago or four nights ago, and um, we just took it easy on him because he was back in to go Sunday. But uh, this horse here, he got a little sick on me the last two, three starts, and then he got a rough trip down at Scioto Downs, and uh, we're coming back with him. He should be pretty good today. Jeff, what makes him the horse to beat in this field? Um, he's a game race horse. He'll try every step. Uh, if a driver asks him to go on, he'll keep going on. That's, I mean, he's a real race horse. Well, his mark of 55 and 1 at Scioto Downs seems to be one of the speediest of these uh, this season. Is that his lifetime best? Uh, yes, it is. Um, the night he got that, I think he could have went a lot more. But, you know, why do it if you don't have to? So. That's right. They don't pay off by how much you win. It's just winning. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Jeff. And let's kick it back over to you, Sam. Thanks very much, Trish. You know, they say time only counts when you're doing it. And that certainly applies to racing as well.